Welcome to Tavira Tower, the most symbolic of the lookout towers in Cadiz. Discover a fascinating town through the tower's exhibition rooms, the rooftop terrace, and of course, the camera obscura. The camera obscura itself projects a startling live image of what is happening outside the tower on a two meter dish in the uppermost room of the tower. You'd be welcome to visit us. This is Cadiz, the oldest town in Western Europe. An island surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean, whose history began some 3,000 years ago. It all started with the arrival of the Phoenicians by boat in the 7th century before Christ. They landed by La Caleta beach and settled down in this area found in Gadir. A meeting place and trading post between the Mediterranean and the Atlantic. A few centuries later, the Romans came, and Cadiz became one of the most important cities in Spain, with an exchange of wines, oils and salt with Rome. In the first century of their occupation, magnificent public buildings were built in Cadiz, as well as walls, theatres, aqueducts and roads. It wasn't until the discovery of America by Christopher Columbus that the town really began to boom. The town grew and with its growth had to build fortifications to protect itself against attacks from pirates and other enemy nations. In the 18th century, Cadiz achieved the trading monopoly with America due to the transfer of the contract house of the West Indies board. It was in this century that Cadiz achieved its greatest splendor and enjoyed the golden age of its history. Cadiz evolved into a picturesque, cultured, cosmopolitan and welcoming city with a thriving community and all sorts of social activities taking place in the theaters, coffee houses and gatherings in palace houses where animated cultural and political conversations took place. In fact, in 1812, Cadiz was reputed to be the birthplace of liberty and became home to illustrious members of the Spanish and New World courts. They had gathered to repel the Napoleon's French invasion of Spain and remained afterwards to write the new Spanish constitution, one of the most advanced and liberal at the time. It was during this era that Cadiz saw the biggest growth in maritime traffic and trade with the Americas, which in turn facilitated a sharing of ideas between the different cultures. This exchange favoured the development of a more liberal attitude amongst the citizens of Cadiz, who in turn grew to become better educated, more open-minded and cosmopolitan. This new society welcomed a new social class of hard-working, risk-taking businessmen, this entrepreneurial spirit influenced the special physiognomy of the town. It was during the 17th and 18th centuries when most of the neoclassical houses and palaces were built. The Merchants' Houses On the ground floor, warehouses surrounded this patio in which goods would be stored. In the res de chaussée, or nearby rooms, were the offices, where all the commercial and administrative activities took place. The owner's living accommodation was situated on the first floor. On the upper floor, and with a considerably lower ceiling height, lived the domestic servants. The roof terrace above the building was a combined space for leisure and work, where linen being washed and children playing could be found. It was quite usual to find kites flying, Last, but not least, was the watchtower, used as a lookout post and communication point to control the entrance of vessels into the port. Each watchtower had its own flag, so the vessels could identify them easily from the open sea. Not all the watchtowers were built in the same way. Four different styles emerged. The sentry box tower, the chair tower, the terrace tower and the mixed tower. 
but there is also a unique tower with eight sides, known as the Hidden Beauty. In the 18th century, Cadith had 160 watchtowers, most of them scattered between the north and the east part of the old town, and therefore overlooking the entrance of the harbour. Nowadays, some 126 watchtowers still remain, many of them undergoing programmes of restoration. Tavira Tower is without doubt the most famous of the watchtowers in Cadith. It was originally part of the Marquis de Recaño Palace, which was built in the 17th century in the Baroque style and is situated at the highest point of the old town, some 45 meters above the sea level. It was for this reason that it was recognized as the official watchtower of the port of Cadiz in 1778. With commanding views over the whole city, all the communications between the vessels within the Bay of Cadiz took place from the Torre Tavira using a flag signaling system. The tower itself is named after its first watchman, Lieutenant Mr. Antonio Tavira. Nowadays, the tower is a major tourist attraction and cultural center for Cadiz. It houses a camera obscura, Using this camera, it is possible to take a rooftop journey around all the points of the compass to see a unique 360-degree view of the whole city. The camera obscura itself is a very simple optical device. It was first used in Europe during the time of Leonardo da Vinci and follows a similar principle to the layout of a periscope. Basically, it is a mirror and two lenses arranged so that the view outside is projected via a tube onto a large white horizontal and concave screen. You can see the waves on the sea, the washing hanging out to dry on nearby rooftops fluttering in the breeze, people walking through the streets and squares of the old town below. Everything, in fact, that makes up the public life of Cadiz. Looking carefully, you will be able to see all the important buildings and monuments too. Even the towns of the bay and far on the horizon. Each guided tour is a unique experience because the same conditions never happen twice. As the time of day passes and weather and seasons change, so do the views and the life in the city. Visitors are also actively encouraged to participate in our tour session with questions and remarks on their observations. Tavira Tower is a major reference point in Cadiz, having grown to be one of the most important tourist attractions in the city. It also had the privilege of being the first camera obscura installation in Spain. Many other towns have now followed suit, including Lisbon, Jerez, La Habana, Ethiha, Sevilla, Santander, Tudela, Jaén or Beja. On entering the reception area of the Tavira Tower, you will be met by one of our guides who will explain how the visit to the tower and camera obscura works. During the tour itself, you will be able to see various different exhibition rooms that display the history of Cadiz through the ages the 18th century trading with the New World, the merchants' houses, the different kinds of towers, the Spanish constitution of 1812, and of course, the history of the camera obscura itself and how it works. Up on the terrace on the uppermost floor, a moment of freedom can be enjoyed with a fascinating panoramic view of Cadiz and all its watchtowers. It will be then when you will see best that the town is very much like an island, surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean. It's a unique and memorable view that you will surely remember whenever you think of Cadiz. The Tavira Tower has been open for business for over 16 years as a tourist attraction and is run by experienced and knowledgeable staff who do their best to offer our thousands of visitors a pleasant and educational tour. Answering questions and offering guided tours all day, every day except Christmas Day and New Year's Day. Our guides speak Spanish, English, 
German and French. Please come and visit us. Enjoy Cadiz in 360 degrees. Sehr schön oben. Man bekommt einen tollen Einblick über die ganze Insel. Und es ist sehr interessant, eine sehr interessante Technik, wie man äh, ja, das Licht einfängt auf der Insel bzw. auf diesem Spiegel. For me, this was an important stop on the tour because I really wanted to see the city of Cadiz from a high elevation. C'était une très bonne visite. J'ai appris beaucoup de choses sur la ville de Cadiz. Me ha gustado mucho. Me ha parecido algo impresionante. Et le voir Cadiz, tout Cadiz, me ha parecido algo mágico. Hier zu sein, als man es eigentlich von unten sieht. Voilà, c'était très intéressant euh, de voir une autre perspective, de voir aussi toutes les tours qu'on ne voit pas quand on se promène dans la rue, parce que on, on, les rues sont étroites, on peut pas voir les tours, et puis d'en haut on peut on peut mieux voir ça. I think the tower is really good because you can see all around, you can see the town and all the markets where we've been, you can see the gold dome on the, the palace and you can see all the old buildings and also the ships which you've come on as well. I think we have to start with knowing Cadiz from the top, and then to know it on the ground. And I think all the cities should have a dark camera to be able to know it. It's a very good experience, so I recommend it. It's a fantastic view.